So today I thought I would go through all of the basic essentials or the things that I have found very useful and handy while being a pumping mum. So I am a mum to two boys, Caleb who is two and Emmett who is a month old and my breastfeeding journey with the two of them has been completely different. I breastfed Caleb for 16 and a half months and I did that on the breast. I never pumped, I tried really hard to pump just so that other people might be able to feed him or when really when I was um, making foods for purees I would use a bit of breast milk to kind of um, loosen it up but I was useless at pumping, I, even though I have the same pump. I just couldn't seem to work with it. This time around, um, when I had my second, he just latched on really, really badly. He broke my nipples, they were bleeding, they were bruised. And so I started pumping because I wanted him to have breast milk. Um, and yeah, I'm still pumping because his latch is blooming terrible. We're trying to work on it, but right now I'm a pumping mum. And yes, yeah, so I am pumping for a one month old. I know that lots and lots of mums pump because they go back to work or, you know, you could be like me. You could be like me and your child might have a terrible latch. So here are the things that I have been using and loving um, to make pumping as successful as it possibly can be. The most obvious thing is a pump. I am using the Medela Swing. This is what I got when I had Caleb. Uh, it is a brand that I knew about. It is a pump that I had heard about before. Uh, the only thing to consider with this pump is that it is an open system. Now, I'm going to be completely honest, and I don't fully understand that myself, but I think it's to do with this tubing. So this is an open system, which means if you want to pass it on or you want to sell it on, um, um, other people shouldn't use it. So because it's an open system, you shouldn't sell it on or pass it on. Um, and you should, if you are really interested in maybe trying to get some of your money back for your pump, because they are quite expensive, um, look for an closed system. But I find this to be absolutely fantastic. When I was in the hospital and they gave me a hospital grade pump, it was a Medela pump. It obviously wasn't a swing, it was something else, um, but it was a Medela one. It is a fantastic brand pump. It takes me an hour to pump on both sides and I get between 10 and 15 ounces. Um, so I get uh, two to three of these. To be honest with you, lately I've only been getting two of them. It kind of depends on whether Emmett is going through a bit of a growth spurt or not. My breasts just know and they say, they tend to make more. Obviously all you do with this is you stick it into this part and you plug it in and yeah, I just find it to be so, so good, so, so handy. I sterilize it after every go. I wash it and I quickly sterilize it. I sterilize it just in a saucepan of water. You sterilize this part. It comes apart into three parts. Uh, this bit, this bit, and there's a little cap here and you actually get two of these inside it. You also get this little foot stopper so that you do not spill your milk afterwards. I'll tell you the worst thing in the world is spilling breast milk. So the pump itself also comes with this really handy just carry bag uh, and you can pop all of your bits in. Everything fits inside, you can just carry around with you. It is just so handy. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. I spent 169 euro two years ago buying this. I think it's around the same price. They don't really go any cheaper than that, but that's just how much I spent. I really feel like I did all of my research with my first child and I did nothing with my second. So um, I have gotten the Advent bottle. So you obviously need a bottle if you are pumping and bottle feeding. Uh, I only have two of these. They came in a pack of two. I bought them when I was pregnant with Caleb and they both have milk inside from the fridge. So this is what my milk looks like. Uh, this is a four ounce one and this is one I've just bought and it is a nine ounce one. Now, the problem with this one is it has the next size teeth. So it has a size two and um, it just flows way too fast so we're not using this at the moment um, but as you can see or I don't know if you can see um, just the round here Hope you can see that now. So it has these little um, hard nodes, which is very much like the breast. So it is the most, or with the research I did anyway, the, these Advent bottles are the most like the breast. So it is really handy. They've been developed for combi feeding. So I'm using these now in the hope that I can speak to a lactation consultant and she can help us sort out 
our last problem. I really don't want to be pumping mom for too much longer, uh, but I will do it for six months. So this is the bottle that we're using right now. What's handy is that we just, oh sorry. What's handy is that we are giving him the four ounces or just over four ounces, you can see I filter just over four ounces. And then, um, yeah, they can stay out. If you just pump, your milk can stay out for four hours. If you put it into the fridge, obviously in a closed container. So sometimes I put them into the bottle and then uh, for backups, I either put them into the bottles, uh, obviously with the lid on it, or I put it into storage bags, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and they can stay in the fridge for up to five days. You really get a lot of different information out there, but five days is what the breastfeeding Ireland website says. Three to eight days is what the Medela says on the bags. I really probably wouldn't go the eight days. The max I would do is five days, but the most backlog we had was two days. He was drinking two day old milk, it stayed in the fridge, it is perfectly fine. And then you can also freeze your milk and you can freeze your milk either inside these bottles or you can freeze them inside storage freezer breast milk bags. So this is a pack of 50. This is not the type that you pump into. They are much more expensive. This was 10 euro and um, yeah, you get two packs of, oh, you get two packs of these. It has simple instructions here on how to use it. It has a zip lock bag so you've got 25 in this one 25 in the other one so they're not going to go all over your cupboard um and yeah so it says on here it, i mean it tells you how to like defrost it safely but it says that it can last four hours outside of the fridge it can last three days inside the fridge what this says three to five days is what i have read and it can last 180 days which is six months inside of the freezer between uh, minus 18 to minus 20 degrees. Yeah. So then you obviously have to clean all of those bottles and we got a sterilizer, we got a microwave sterilizer, we got this one. This is the Tommy Tippy one. It holds up to four bottles and the Advent ones do fit. I do know that Advent have their own one. This is just the one that was in the shop. I'm not really loyal to the brand. Um, I've used different Tommy Tippy things, but this is the one that was there. So it holds these bottles. It also holds these bottles. And I am also sterilizing these bottles <laughs> inside of it. Uh, it's really handy in our microwave. It goes six minutes and then it is done. Six minutes is nothing. Um, and when you are sterilizing, like obviously if you are bottle feeding, this probably... I don't know if it'll do you. Like you need to sterilize lots of bottles at the same time, or you probably have lots of bottles where I don't. Right now, like I said, we're using two of these and I do have three of the bigger ones, but we're not using those yet. So I'm constantly sterilizing my bottle, constantly sterilizing these, because I have five of these. I got four in a pack I will show you and you get one with the uh, pump to begin with. So I am using this. It is just so handy. It comes with little tongs so that you can, you know, touch it and all. You know what a sterilizer is. That is what it is. We are using a microwavable one. It has been so handy so far. Then my absolutely favorite thing is this. This is a Medela cooler bag. It is for transporting and storing your breast milk. And I even use it while taking milk along with me. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It came with four of these bottles, which all work with the pump, which is fantastic. And it even fits my Advent bottle so I can keep milk with me. So what I do when I'm out and about is I carry two to three empty bottles so that when I have to pump out and about, I have obviously space for empty bottles. And then if I know I'm gonna be out for a long time, I will pack an extra bottle and I keep it. Uh, it does fit the small, ooh, it does fit the small, um, Advent bottles and so I fill that with milk and then I have one milk that is kind of in a cooler bag which is really really handy it is a fantastic it can fit inside your changing bag because it is small and compact we have a rucksack style and while it does fit inside it I think it kind of weighs it down so they are all the products I have been using as a pumping mom to make my life just that little bit easier of course I do just want to quickly mention if you are suffering from sore nipples or chapped nipples nipples or broken nipples as I was and uh, just the two products I was using uh, obviously there is the lanolin cream it is 
fantastic but what is just the best uh, I've mentioned this so many times because I absolutely love them is the multi man compresses they really the they really help they're really handy um, and just have them inside your bag all the time just in case if you like this I've got kids I've got kids I can hear them all if you like this don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already done so I hope you found this video informative and useful and yeah thanks so much for watching I'll see you in my next video. Bye.